Nobody was better than Joe. When Joe truly believes in something, you don't want to yeah, argue. Getting, you don't want to argue with that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Joe is a smasher. He will straight stomp you like Vanderlei Silva and Dan Henderson. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he don't fuck around. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, we we just clicked on that. We were hardcore conspiracy theorists. You know. I mean, I, I'm I'm I have subtle conspiracy theories, <laughs> but they're but they're ones that are so which unpopular. Ones, which one? I, I'm even f afraid to say it because people will go. People get offended when I say this. Which one? Which one? I think uh, the government created AIDS. Okay. To kill black people and gays. Okay. I believe. Yeah, that. I mean, if you re read the book by Bill Cooper, he talks about basically that. Yeah. They created a gay agenda, and there's nothing against gay people. Well, there, there's created the great gay agenda, and then made AIDS to kill them off. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. If I would, if they could do it, they would do it. I wouldn't doubt it. But when you hear, uh, there was a guy on Joe Rogan's pos podcast, is, is Dr. Doucheberg or something like that. The, the one the Callum was on? M yes. Where the guy was saying that AIDS is just because of drug use? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, saw, I yeah. listened to some of that. He, basically what he's saying is <clears throat> um, AIDS is a condition. You know, AIDS is like AIDS acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Mm -hmm. It means your immune system is broke. It means your engine is broke, you know? So a lot of things can cause that. Malnutrition, um, a whole shitload of viruses can, can make your immune system stop working. So in the case of AIDS, um, originally before it was called AIDS, it was called GRID, gay related uh, immune deficiency. It was a it was a gay disease because in the seventies all the people that were showing up with their immune system shot were gay, so they yeah. were thinking shit. And the gay people were marching, going fuck. Why are you guys ignoring us? We fucking all these gay people are dying. Don't ignore us. We need funding. We need to find out what this fuck what the fuck this is. They were making a lot of noise. Going why are you guys calling it gay related immune deficiency? This is bullshit. So <clears throat> they decided to look into it. They took uh, this now. This is according to Doucheberg, yeah. right? They took. Um, a bunch of people that were dying of AIDS and they all did tests on them and they found out that 40% uh, of them had HIV of all these people. So just from that report, they just ran with HIV causes AIDS. But they didn't even, no one asked like, what about the people that didn't have HIV? Why are they still dying of AIDS? They didn't give a shit about that. They just went full blown. It's, we're gonna call it AIDS now. We're not gonna call it GRID no more. Really? And it's, if you got HIV, if you got HIV, you're getting AIDS. You, so that's what they thought. So people started getting tested, and people were getting coming up HIV positive, but they didn't realize that it. That's not conclusive that HIV causes AIDS because sixty percent of them didn't even have HIV. Yeah, it's either it was either um, forty percent didn't have HIV and they were still dying of AIDS, or sixty percent. It's a sixty forty thing. I forget out. It's it's either yeah. way, either way. Um, <clears throat> Either way, not all of the patients that they did the, the tests on, according to Doucheberg, had HIV. So what the fuck were they dying? Uh, how were they getting uh, their immune system shot? So they never really got into that. They just said HIV, boom. So what they ended up doing is when people came up with a, an HIV positive test result, they would just get them on AZT, which is a medication that they stopped using for cancer patients because it was killing them. The AZT was killing them before the cancer. So they had to, they had to shelve the AZT, but now with this new AIDS, they go, let's bring back AZT and anybody that has is test positive for HIV will give them AZT. And the people were dying of AZT, not AIDS, some of them people, who knows, according to Doucheberg, yeah. were like, were, were, um, they were given AZT because they had an HIV positive result, when in reality, they probably would have lived if they would have just figured out how to control the HIV. Yeah. So what they, they ended up doing, they ended up realizing, okay, they knew that, you know, let's, let's, let's stop AZT. Oh, we got a new cocktail. This is better, and it was safer. So they stopped, they stopped AZT for cancer treatment, and then they stopped it for AIDS treatment, or HIV treatment. So there's a lot of fun, there was, an industry blew up, like all the AIDS tests and all this That's shit. That's what makes me crazy. Think they'll ever cure it? No, there's no money in curing it. Um, well, what they found out, according to Doucheberg, is that what was what was killing their immune system, according to him, was um, not all. Uh, it was generally 
the hardcore drug users. There's a there's a gay way to use uh, gays use certain drugs like uh, poppers and a- anal nitrate or amyl nitrate. What is it? Amyl, yeah, amyl nitrate. Amyl nitrate. Yeah. And poppers. It'd be which, too convenient if it was anal nitrate. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Of course. You're right. So those. T- and I, I, uh, I'm just going by Doucheberg. Yeah. He said those two drugs are very popular amongst gay people to uh, loosen up your rectum to make anal intrusion a lot easier, right? Yeah. So that's why they took it. And then something about amyl nitrate, right when you're having uh, an orgasm and you take it, it's like a crazy, it's like gays love doing that. Oh, I didn't know Nothing wrong that. with it, enjoying your sex. Yeah. But it was those poppers, those those things that make your butt loose and amyl nitrate a common and and then you know speed of course and heavy alcohol use they found that most of the people that were dying already dying of aids from their immune system was shot was from these drugs it yeah. wasn't from hiv it was actually the drugs so well that's my, what doucheberg says i don't know i'm my no only expert. problem with that is that people and I, I i haven't seen the study but there are people who got it through blood transfusions they got hiv Right, so yeah. when they get a chi- uh, HIV, then they put them on AZT, and then they get, that, they, that, they get they get killed. Was that was that uh, Arthur Ashe? Did he get put on AZT? I don't know. He got a, he I was, don't know. But he was the first round of yeah, guys that got the, it from blood the transfusion. Big, yeah, the big problem was as soon as someone gets an HIV positive test result, they put them on some hardcore drugs, and the the, the conspiracy theory is that they're dying from the drugs, not from the HIV. The drugs are fucking them. That's why they had to pull AIDS. They don't give AZT out to AIDS patients some more than they used to. They used yeah. to do it for cancer too. They don't do it anymore. Why? Because it's too fucking dangerous. See, my, my, according to Doucheberg. I was in Atlanta doing uh, the Laughing Skull this a while ago, and I said something about AIDS and some bunch of people from the uh, Center for Disease Control, CDC, were there. And I, they said, you know what? And by the way, they work there. They said, you know, we call a straight guy with AIDS. And I said, what? And they go, a liar. <laughs> and I went, really? And they're like, does straight guys can't get it. Just yeah, isn't, regi- there's a regi- lot of things that didn't make sense, though. Like when AIDS first came out big, like in the 80s, they were saying by 1992, one in four Americans yeah. between 18 and 25 are going to have AIDS. It was a big scare. No oh. one, not one straight guy I know, not one. Has ever gotten AIDS? Yeah, me neither. Not one. You would, think, you would think hookers. Right? You would think hookers all over Brazil would have AIDS, right? Dude, and they don't. No. Well, one. there's a lot down there do have AIDS. What about the porn industry? Should be rampant hold on, with hold AIDS. On. Let me just say one thing though okay. about that. There are straight guys that get AIDS, but they get it through um, needles. Needles. Yeah, that, I believe that. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. Remember you what have AIDS to inject is. It. AIDS. AIDS is your immune system don't work. The, like the African kids, the, the Ethiopians that are getting AIDS, they're they're calling it AIDS because their immune system doesn't work. But what they're getting AIDS from malnutrition, not having food. Really. But they still call it AIDS to get the to get aid. There's like some kind of. Um, you know those those uh, non government uh, organizations that are all you know disguised yeah. in philanthropy. Yeah. You know what I mean? They come in and like you know there's all of them. They have just like an awesome name like Hope for right. Africa right. Yeah. Foundation. Sounds great, but really they're just it's they're doing some kind of money laundering, some kind of crooked shit going on.